What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the solution of an equation using the addition property of equality. But again, it is not as complicated as it sounds. Okay, so I covered the same topic, but with the subtraction property of equality. If you need to check that out, I'll link it in the card above. But if you're good, let's just jump into it. Okay, so the addition property of equality just says if you have two things that are equal to each other, and then you add the same thing to both of them, then this whole thing is still going to be equal to this whole thing. So that might sound a little complicated or just vague, but I'm going to break down some examples for you right now. So just like with the subtraction property, there's going to be two things to keep in mind with the addition property. So first of all, isolate the variable, variable. And secondly, what you do to one side, you do to the other side. So according to the addition property of equality, when you add something to one side of an equation, you have to add that same thing to the other side of the equation in order to keep it balanced. Okay, so let me give you some examples. X minus two is equal to seven. Okay, so I'm gonna follow my two-step process here. So first step, isolate the variable. What do I mean by that? This variable right here, I don't want anything next to it. I want it to be completely by itself. So I need to find a way to get rid of this minus two somehow, right? So I will rewrite the problem really quick right here to give me a little space. And now, how am I gonna get rid of this minus two? Well, I could add two, right? Because minus two plus two, that's gonna cancel each other out. But according to our second step, right? What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So if I'm gonna add two to this side of the equation, I also have to add two to this side of the equation. I have to keep the equation balanced. Now I can start simplifying some things, right? So I have x right here, and then I have this minus two plus two. So what's negative two plus two? That's just zero, right? So that cancels each other out, that goes away. So then we have our equal sign, and then we have seven plus two. So what's seven plus two? That's equal to nine. So the solution we end up with is x is equal to nine. Okay, so is that the correct solution? There's only one way to figure that out, and that's by plugging it in to this original equation. So I'll rewrite it down here. x minus two is equal to seven. And now I'm going to plug in a 9 for x right here. Okay, so 9, and then the rest of our equation, minus 2 is equal to 7. So 9 minus 2, that simplifies to 7, and then we have equal 7. So is 7 equal to 7? Of course it is, right? It's the same number. So that means when we plugged in a 9 for x, that gave us a balanced equation, right? So this answer we got right here was correct. X is equal to nine. Okay, so let's do a few more examples. Okay, X minus nine is equal to 13. And again, what is our two-step process? We need to isolate the variable first, right? So let's start there. So this X, I don't want anything near it, so I need to get rid of this minus nine somehow. How can I do that? Well, I could simply add nine, right? Because then these are going to cancel each other out. But remember, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other. Okay, so let me rewrite my equation. So here we have x and then this minus nine plus nine, right? Minus nine plus nine is simply equal to zero, right? So these cancel each other out, they just go to zero. So we have x and then that just goes to zero and then we have our equal sign right here. And then what's 13 plus nine? That's equal to 22. Okay, cool. So again, we found a solution to this problem, right? But is it the correct solution? Well, we have to plug it into the original equation and see if it works. So we have x minus 9 is equal to 13. And now I'm going to plug in a 22 for x and see if it works. Okay, so I'll plug in a 22 right here. So 22, and then I'll bring down the rest of my equation minus nine is equal 
to 13. Now, what is 22 minus 9? Well, that's equal to 13. Okay, and then we have this equals 13 right here on this side. So, is 13 equal to 13? Yes, right? So that means when we plugged in 22 for x, we got a balanced equation. So that means what we got for our answer was correct. x is equal to 22. Okay, one last example. Okay, now I'm going to throw some negative numbers at you. x minus 4 is equal to negative 5. All right, so again, step number one, isolate the variable. So I want this x to be completely by itself. So I need to get rid of this minus 4 somehow. So since I have a minus 4 here, I'm going to add 4 instead, okay? But again, step number two, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So if I'm going to add 4 here, I need to add 4 here also. Okay, so I'll rewrite my equation a little bit. So I have x and then negative 4 plus 4, that just goes to 0 right? So that's not going to change anything. And then we have our equal sign, and then we have negative 5 plus 4. So what is negative 5 plus 4? Well, that's equal to negative 1. Okay, so now we got an answer for x, right? So we got x is equal to negative 1. Is that the correct answer? Again, we're going to plug it into the original equation and see if it works. So our original equation was x minus 4 is equal to negative 5. Okay, I'm going to plug in a negative 1 for x right here. So negative 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 5. So negative 1 minus 4, what does that simplify to? That's negative 5, right? And then we have this negative 5 here. So is negative 5 equal to negative 5? Yes. Okay, so that means our answer right here was correct. Because when we plugged in negative 1, right, we plugged in negative 1 for x, we got a balanced equation. Okay, guys, so that's how you use the addition property of equality. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up. And if you still got questions, leave them in the comments section below, and I will try and help you out. There's a pre-algebra playlist attached at the end of the video, so if you need help with any other topics, definitely check it out, and I'll see you there.